Hi Junior High Band, we're going to try something a little different here with the camera and all that. And let's start with uh, lesson number 19. Okay, so we're going to fill in the blanks with uh, all those terms up there. And there are five lines and four spaces in the music staff. The bottom line of the staff is line number one. Notes on the staff represent sounds called pitch. And another name for the treble clef is the G clef. Another name for the bass clef is the F clef. Two staves, treble and bass, connected by a brace and bracket, form a grand staff. Short lines that extend the staff are called ledger lines. What pitches are common in both the treble and bass clef staffs? B, C, and D. Name the middle note of the grand staff. That's going to be middle C. The smallest distance between two pitches in Western music is called a half step. Two half steps equal a whole step. A succession of pitches going higher or lower is called a scale. A scale that follows the whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half pattern is called a major scale. The symbol called a blank raises a pitch a half step higher. That's a sharp. Symbol called a blank lowers a pitch a half step lower. That's called a flat. A blank is a group of sharps or flats found after the cleft sign. Cleft sign, it's a key signature. Music with no sharps or flats is written in the key of C major. The sign that cancels a sharp or a flat is called a natural. The distance in pitch between two notes is called an interval. And the name of the interval between the first note and the last note of a scale is an octave. Okay, we've got to circle the ones that are the mistakes. That sharp sign is tilted funny. Flat sign is backwards, and the treble clef is upside down to the back side. Demonstrate all the melodic theory concepts by drawing them in the order listed below. Draw a treble clef sign on the top staff and a bass clef sign on the bottom staff. Treble clef, bass clef. Place a 4-4 four, four time signature on each staff. Oh, sorry. Connect the two staves to form a grand staff. Do that with one of these. Boom. Now, place a 4-4 four, four time signature on each staff. The key signature is C, so we just leave it alone. On the treble clef staff, indicate the following whole notes in a scale pattern going up, starting on middle C. Start on middle C here, and then whole notes scale pattern. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. They forgot a B in there. That's a typo. On the bass clef staff, indicate the following whole notes in a scale pattern going down, starting on middle C. Zoom in a little bit, make it easier on me. C, B, A, 
G F E D C Circle middle C on the base staff. Okay. Identify the hole and half steps in the treble clef by placing hole or or W or H in between your notes. Okay, it's a major scale, so it's hole, hole, half, hole, 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 half. Place a sharp on the A in the bass staff. Place a flat on the B in the bass staff. Place a natural on the G the base staff. Circle the two notes in the treble staff that represent an octave interval. Two notes in the treble staff. That would be C and C. Draw an arrow on the notes that represent unison. That would be the middle C. On the treble staff, draw a curved line from one note to another that represents the interval of a fifth. Start on C. One, two, three, four. Up to G. And on the bass staff, draw a curved line from one note to another that in represents the interval of a second. Oh, really, we can pick just about any of them. I'll pick F to E. All right, that's it for this week. I hope you all are doing well, and we'll see you again next week.